Namaste everyone, Pranam, Namo Himalaya. Now many of you know that uh, New Moon is now moving into Pisces on the 2nd of March. So there are a few things that you can look out for to be able to harness these energies for setting new intentions, for new manifestations, and some things for you to look out for when it comes to how the emotions may be carried, especially with the creativity and the flow of Pisces, the water sign. So we're going to be diving deep into what to expect, what to look out for, what things may have started to happen already, and how to better your manifestations and intention setting for this period. But before we get into it, show real, hit it. What's up guys, namaste everyone. This is Sri Akashna here. And in this video, we're gonna break down just a few things to look out for when it comes to this new moon in Pisces that's happening on the 2nd of March. So all of, first of all, all of my fellow Pisces, please type inside the chat, who is Pisces here? Give me a Pisces sign inside the chat, inside the comments so I know who you guys are. Um, I'm also Pisces sign as well. So I understand when some of, sometimes you guys have that uh, flow and that, be like water and sometimes too much like water and sometimes not here, not there and everywhere. And sometimes with so much creativity that flows through you that you don't know what to do with it. And maybe it sometimes requires a little bit of grounding. So while this is happening and we understand this is the sign and this is a water sign and this is the energy that's moving with this new moon, what is it that we must look out for? Well, first of all, when it comes to new moon, just like at any time, it's a great time to set new intentions for a new chapter in your life. It's a time where, let's say for example, you've been thinking to go into a relationship. It's a good time to start setting that intention to start a new relationship. It's a good time for career. It's a good time to set your intentions to switch career. It's a good time to break old habits, for example. If you have things that have been stopping you, things that have been holding you back, it's a good time to commit, set that intention, to drop those things, to step into the new version of you. Now, how do we go about doing this? Well, there's plenty of rituals and law of attraction practices and things like that you can do, but I always say that it's, it always consists of these three phases. The first part of it is the letting go part. During this new moon time, by the way, whether you like it or not, whether consciously or unconscious, you may have seen certain things may stimulate because always understand the universe is working with you. Even though sometimes it may need to not seem that way, universe is always working with you. It's working with your energies, working with your vibrations and working with your intentions. And so sometimes throughout this period, maybe you have some disturbance, some challenges that may be happening, whether in your workspace or whether in your relationship. And maybe it's a sign Maybe it's the universe giving you that indication that, hey, we're going to stimulate some turbulence here so that we can allow the old to cleanse and allow the old to go. So if that has happened to you, whether in your workspace, whether in your relationship, some stimulation, some problems and challenges, some, some triggers, emotional triggers have been happening, maybe it's time to let go. So the first part of it is always about being able to read those signs and allow just like, be like water, my friend Bruce Lee used to say, allow the water just to flush and take those old energies away, okay? So that's the first part of it, always about cleansing. The second part of it is always take, the, take some time to be scripting, take some time to be visualizing, setting new intentions. What do you wanna see in this year going ahead, right? What big manifestations do you want? So start scripting, start setting those intentions. That's the second part of it. It's a good time to do it. Then moving into the third part of it is all about commitment and action. What are the seeds you're actually going to be planting? There's no point just sitting there and saying, yes, I've set some intentions. What is the action plan? What are you going to do to get you closer to the goal? So it's time to execute. It's time to action. It's time to commit. So these are the three things that I would recommend for you to do during this time. Now, with that said, with the way the months are planning out right now, 
especially with March being a little bit calmer than the month of January, than the month of February. And March is a time for reflection. March is a slightly calmer energies than the months before. And then you will be thinking when you set these intentions that April might be a time for receiving these rewards or things like that. Actually, April uh, energies are slightly different. In fact, in April time, it's very important to know how to protect our energies. And that's why uh, on this channel, over the weeks, we will also create a different video which will be talking about protecting your energies for uh, the month of April. And it's very important. Okay, and I'm sure Paulina is also getting something down for that. So we'll create that video for everybody. While April is not um, uh, that time to actually receive those uh, fruits from all the seeds that you're planting, moving into May is slightly calmer, June, July, August, actually it moves all the way to September. September is a very fruitful month, especially when it goes to the full moon of September. I believe full moon of September is September the 10th. I believe that is the date. So when it comes into full moon of September, it's very, very big rewards will start to happen there. So understand that the seeds that you are planting, the new intentions that you are setting in this month right now, you will start to see small, small micro manifestations in sequential order start taking place to guide you towards that full moon in September where you will start seeing the biggest results so make sure to do save this video as well because we always like a good success story. You come back and share your success stories and anything that you can resonate with, let us know inside the comments box below um, to be able to help other people understand these energies a little bit better and also for them to feel like they're not alone. We're all on this beautiful, beautiful, wonderful journey of life together. And so if this video has been of any use to you whatsoever, please do hit the thumbs up, hit the like button. Or comment below, let us know where you guys have tuned in from. And also let us know what you can resonate with, anything that's been said. Or also place your intentions inside the comments below. Another thing I'd like you to do, I'm going to put a link to a Discord channel. If you haven't joined the Discord yet, make sure to join the Discord. We've already got around 9,000, like 200 people who have joined from this conscious community in a space of love and positivity where you can join the Super Creators channel, be able to uh, connect with people. We always say your tribe is your vibe. There is a meditation center, law of attraction, intention setting, affirmations, everything is inside and it's free for everybody to join. So if you haven't joined the Discord already, please do click the first link in the description, download the Discord app and join us there. And a lot of the time I'll be inside there chatting with you guys as well. So look forward to seeing you guys inside there. If you're new to this channel and you haven't already, remember, remember to, hit that subscribe button and the notifications button next to it. That's a little bell sign, by the way, because this year I'm dedicated to making daily videos to hold you accountable to make it your best year yet. But for now, guys, I'm signing out. Namaste. Namo Himalaya.